an actor? Um, you know, I, I, you know, I honestly don't actually really know the answer to that question. Um, that sounds like a strange thing to say, I think, but um, my, this is true of, men, of any role, I think. My, ex my experience as an actor is that when you get a role, you, um, you do as much research as you, is, is available to you. So with, with this particular role, that's a huge amount, because you've got 16 plus years of comic books to read. Um, and then, and, and, and I think what happens is you just kind of read and read and read, and you kind of get to, you kind of, you start to recognize traits in yourself that you think are similar to the ones the character has, and you just start focusing on those. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, it's kind of an odd process because I, you, you know, you try not to ever, I, if you, if you try and kind of put on a funny walk or something, or like do a funny voice, or try and like, like when you're telling a joke and you do an impression of someone, if you do that, I, on TV I don't think it'll work, I think it will look like you're acting, you know? So the trick is to kind of just slowly kind of morph into this other guy and find how he thinks and, and, and try to identify what traits you have with this counter in common so that you can work on those. Um, and then also, you know, try and find out what, what, what do you not have in common? What are the areas that you have to work on? Um, one of the things that, <laughs> one of the things that I do as a human a lot is smile. <laughs> and, and I remember thinking early on, I'm not sure TV smiles as much as I do, you know? <laughs> so that was something I had to work on, like, literally, stop smiling. <laughs> but it's got to be tricky as an actor, because as you're crafting that role, that character, if you take on certain affectations, you're, you're potentially stuck with that thing for the next several seasons, it's like, you know, a certain walk or, or things like that, right? Right. Yeah, so you want to be careful. Actually, uh, a, few, uh, a few years ago, I was doing a, a, a movie, and um, uh, when, I got to, when I turned up for the first day, um, I had a huge beard. Uh, I hadn't shaved for a long time. I hadn't worked for a long time. <laughs> and uh, and um, I had this huge beard, and they put me into hair and makeup. I think we were shooting in a couple of days. They put me into hair and makeup. Um, and, and they said, right, you'll do hair and makeup and then we'll have some lunch and then we'll kind of do a costume fitting or whatever. And um, so I was shaving my beard and I, and, I, and I thought, just for fun, for lunch, I was going to leave these huge, like, Wolverine sideburns. Just for fun, right? Just because you got to, when you're shaving a big beard, you've got to have a moment, at least five minutes of like, what if I did this, you know? And then I went to lunch and the director walked up to me and was like, oh, cool, keep that. <laughs> and that was the next four months, you know, and it was like, and it's fine on set because, you know, you're an actor, you're doing a thing, but like, you walk around your town, and people are like, that's a choice. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think people reasonably, they always want to ask about how you develop the role, but it's also interesting that when you are doing uh, multiple...